hello everyone welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video you will see how to make a, a step progress bar using html and css as you can see on my computer screen on the first two step you can see this is a different color and the third step it is a different color because the third step is active and the last two steps are disabled because that has to be filled it is very easy to make this kind of a step progress bar using html and css so let's begin this tutorial so first of all you can see i have one folder on my desktop and let me open it in this folder i have so many images and i have two files that is index.html file and one style.css file i have already created these two files now i will go to my text editor and here you can see i have already opened my files this is the html file this html file is already connected with the css file with this line of code and this one is the css file so let's come back to the html file and first of all we'll come to the body area and here we'll create one list so i'm using ul and in this list we'll write li list item we'll add here so let me add one image here so i'm using img source and the file name simply i will duplicate this one to add multiple images just i am changing the image file name so this one is the second image now the third one this is the fourth image and one more so here i have added four different images simply save these changes and open this web page with google chrome now you can see all these images in vertical alignment and these images are too big so let's come back to the code and first we'll add one div here so here we'll write div and one class name so I'm writing class name progress. We'll close this div over here. Simply copy this one progress and come to the CSS file. We'll write it here. And for this progress, we'll write IMG. So we will add some width for these images. So I'm writing width 80 pixel. So after refreshing this page, you can see the small images here now we have to move all this content in the center so come back to the css file and here we'll write ul then text align center after that refresh the web page and you can see all these images in the center next we have to align all these images in the horizontal line for that we'll add ul li and here we'll write display inline block so after refreshing this page you can see all these images are aligned in the same horizontal line next we have to add some a space for that we'll add width 200 pixel so after refreshing you can see enough space between these images next we have to add some space from the top so in this place i'm adding margin 300 pixel auto 300 pixel from top and bottom and auto from left and right after refreshing this page, you can see enough space from top and bottom. Next, we will add some background image. So let's come to the CSS file and here we'll write body, then background image, URL and the image file name. We'll also write background size, it will be cover and background position, it will be center. So after refreshing this page, you can see this background image over here. Next, we have to add some content in this list. So let's come to the HTML file and here we'll write P and the first title that is select item. Simply I will copy it and add it into the second one and third one. Like this, I will add this content in all the list. So second one, I will change it to add to cart. And the next one, it is 
fill details and the next one make payment and the last item is download ebook so after refreshing this page you can see all this text just uh, at the bottom next we have to add some icons here okay for that uh, we need to add some font or some link so simply come to the html file in head and just copy this one and paste it again after that we will remove this one and here we will add the font awesome cdn link to get the link we will go to the google and here we will search for font awesome cdn open this first website and from here we will copy this one link and simply add it here after adding this font awesome cdn link again come to the google and search for font awesome icons open the first website and on this website you can find any kind of icons that you want to use so i will search for check so here is the check icon and open this and just copy this a small code and simply add this code on the web page where you want to display the icon we can remove this one it is not required and simply i will copy this icon in the second one also now we need the another icon so again come to the same website and search for different icon so this time i am searching for refresh we got this one just copy it and add it here remove this simply i will copy it in the next one also and we'll change it to times this will be the cross icon after refreshing this page you can see different icons also in different list these contents are coming at the bottom because we made a small mistake so what we have to do we'll just copy this one progress and uh, we'll add it here and this margin will add here because we have to add a space on this progress div that's it save these changes and after that refresh the web page now you can see all these items are on the right place still we have to align this icon in the center for that we'll come to the html file and here we'll write br simply i will add this br in all the list that's it save these changes and refresh the web page now you can see this image just below there is an icon and below there you can see one text now we will change the font style so here i am adding font family and the font color also so after refreshing this page you can see different font color and different font family next we have to add some space just below this image because it is very close to each other so for this img what i am writing margin bottom let's add 20 pixel so now you can see enough space between this image and text now we'll add background color for this icons so simply we'll add here ulli then after we'll write dot fa for these font or some icons so for this one we'll write background some background color and we'll write width let's add 16 pixel and height also 16 pixel and color will be white border radius 50 percent save these changes and refresh the web page now you can see round uh, circle over here but still we need some space around this icon so what we'll add we'll add padding 5 pixel now you can see enough space around these icons so after adding this we have to add some horizontal line so just copy this one again and here we'll write after and for this one we'll write content it will be blank then background any background color 
then height will be 5 pixel and we'll write width let's write uh, 200 pixel after that display block and position absolute so after refreshing this page you can see this horizontal line and it is starting from this icon it is not in the center so what we'll write we'll write uh, left zero so now you can see all these uh, uh, horizontal line are aligned at the left of this uh, web page so what we have to do we'll go to the ul li and here we'll write position relative so after refreshing this page you can see this line is aligned properly at the center but still you can see we have some extra space over here so what we have to do we have to increase the width so let me change it to 205 now it is perfect now we have to move it upward so let's write here top let me write uh, 50 pixel so after refreshing it is coming here let me increase this one 100 pixel right now it is here uh, still we have to move it so let me change 110 so now it is perfect but you can see this horizontal line is coming over the icons so what we'll add we'll add z index minus one so after refreshing this page you can see this horizontal line is just below the icons these icons are clearly visible next we have to add some colors for different progress steps so just copy this one and here we'll write ulli and after that we will write nth child and here you can see we, I am adding 3 because we will select the third list and after that we will write dot fa because we have to apply color for this fa and we are writing background and here we will change the background color so I am writing the different color code so after refreshing this page you can see different color for this third list for this horizontal line also we will change the color so again we will use the same concept just copy this one here and again we have to write here after and just copy this one background so after refreshing this page you can see this horizontal line is also in different color similarly we have to add color for the first and second item also so let's come back to the css file and just copy this one add it here here we'll write and the child one and again we'll use the one more that is nth child 2 that's it and for this one we'll use some different color so after refreshing you can see these icons background color has been changed and for horizontal line also we'll use the same concept just we have to copy it and here write after that's it so after refreshing this page you can see this horizontal line color is also changed now we have to do one more thing you can see this horizontal bar is uh, coming uh, before this uh, first item and after the last item also so we have to remove that part to remove that part we have to reduce the width of this horizontal bar for that we have to select the uh, list for that we'll use ul li and here we can use the first child it will select the first li and after that i'm writing dot fa after and for this one width will be uh, let me change it to 105 so now you can see this horizontal bar width has been changed for the first item but it is aligned in the left side so we have to move it for that we'll write left 100 pixel so now you can see it is perfectly aligned at the right position similarly we will do for the last child so just copy this one and add it here and uh, instead of first child here we'll write last child and here we don't need to write left simply width only so after refreshing this page you can see there is no extra horizontal bar for this last item like this you can easily design a step progress bar using html and css if this video was helpful for you please like and comment on this video and do share this video on social media thank you so much for watching this video